Welcome back to Mr. Seward and this is a continuation of 3.2.4 beam analysis shortcuts. This is the second shortcut and you're going to like this one. So we're going to use a program here called MD Solids and we're going to be creating shear and bending moment diagrams using that program. Uh, you're going to need to make sure that you reset between problems when you're using this MD Solids program. You're going to print out the diagrams and attach them to this activity. You're actually going to put them into your engineering notebook. And you're going to compare them to the diagrams that we drew in activity 323 beam analysis. So here's all the parameters that we use for this or you will be using where the uniform distributed load is going to be 100 foot pounds. The beams are all 16 feet long and they're going to have a, a concentrated value uh, pressure value of 500 pounds and then you're going to assume the distance uh, for the uh, letter A is equal to 4 feet. So I'm going to show you a couple of these but I'm not going to use these values you're going to be responsible for doing all six of these diagrams yourself and I am going to instead use for this the diagram, uh, the values that we had. Uh, this is actually the test that I gave you um, a few days ago. So this, uh, this in this instance, we're going to have 20 foot long beams. Our uniform distributed uh, force is going to be 250 pound feet, and all the concentrated loads are going to be 750 pounds. So we're going to use these values to do the program. So I'm going to close this out. Somewhere on your desktop, you're going to have a program called MD Solids 4.0. I'm going to double click on that. And it'll take a couple seconds for it to pop up. I've had this open today already, so it might not have taken as long. You're going to go to here where it says Determinate Beams. And I'm going to click on that. And you're going to see three different kinds of beams. We're going to use this one in the upper left corner. Now, it says total beam length, and this is where we got to go back to our Word document right here. And as a matter of fact, I'll just kind of do this to the to this thing. Uh, what happened to my program? Hmm, kind of went away. Okay, well that's all right. I'll just uh, well, I'll just minimize everything again, and I'll bring MD Solids back up. I forgot about it doing that determinant beams okay word document now here we go this is just so we can see it as we're working on it whoops that's the wrong one here it is oh, this is gonna make it all disappear again but I think I could just put it like this okay total beam length remember our beam length here is 20 feet so I'm gonna put in 20 and the important thing here is, is to notice the units this is inches I'm going to change that to feet. Then it wants to know the location of the left support. That's at zero feet. Location of the right support. That's going to be set to 20 feet. And I hit enter. And now this diagram pops up on here for us. And I'm just going to kind of move this down here so I can see the see this where it says procedure. Now, you'll notice these are the different forces. Here is a concentrated load down. Here is a uniform load down. And you can see you can do them uh, going in opposite directions. This is for uh, concentrated moments. That's torsion, twisting kinds of things. We're not worried about those with this exercise. So this first beam is going to be a uh, beam that is going straight down. The load location, and remember we have a 20 foot long beam, is going to be right in the middle. So this is going to be at 10 feet. Make sure you and it stay at feet, and they did. And the load magnitude, and that's how much. So P is equal to 750 pounds. So I'm going to put in 750 and hit enter. And this is the thing that you are really going to like, I hope, is that it's done all the calculations for us. We can see the moment diagram down here with a value of 3750 for this particular beam. 
we've got the shear diagrams at positive 375 and minus 375 and then this is of course our load diagram now once you have this you're going to hit file and then you're going to hit print diagrams you're going to put in a print uh, title a diagram title and uh, this first one is concentrated load at center you'll name them with the name of the diagram you're going to have you're going to use the uh, Rico printer at school I have a brother printer here at home and just hit print it's going to come up with this font dialog box I just say okay and what this will do is this will print out a diagram you can hear my printer in the background probably now what happens is once you get this thing uh, printed out you're going to take this diagram right here uh, yours will use the values in activity uh, 3.2.4 okay um, and that's you're going to print it out and you're going to paste it into your engineering notebook and that's what you're going to need to show me so this is the concentrated load at center then we have a uniform distributed load very similar setup and then we have some of these ones that are combinations and I'm going to show you how to do one of the combination uh, ones right now okay so let's minimize this and the important thing to remember when you're between problems here is to go over to where it says file right here and hit reset and that puts you back to uh, nothing okay all right so now we're going to do uh, one that has uniformly distributed load and it's concentrated at the center so I start with my regular uh, beam here my 20 foot long beam left supports at 0 right supports at 20 and I hit enter now I'm going to do the concentrated load again and it's going to be right at center which is at 10 feet load magnitude um, I think that was 750 right yes yeah, so P is 750 so load magnitude is 750 pounds I hit enter now I need to put the uniform load on here which is going to be this one with the three arrows going down start of load is going to be at zero the end of load is going to be at the 20 feet because it's going across the entire thing and the load magnitude I think is 250 pound feet and I'll hit enter and I get my uh, diagram right here okay so that's how you combine them um, here I would go to file and print it and such as that but let's do the last one I'm going to reset here we're going to use our beam again of 20 feet 0 and 20 feet for the right support hit enter I'm going to do the concentrated uh, I'm sorry the uniform load and this starts at 0 it ends at 20 feet load magnitude is 250 pounds hit enter but now instead of this one being uh, the point being the point load being at the middle this is going to have that uh, small letter a remember if I can show you that we have oh, I don't I didn't put it down here well in the oh,